Brewers hosting the Mets, and the Mets are minus 160 on the money line. The Brewers are plus 135. The over-under is eight runs. The Mets laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. And the Brewers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And while I was watching this game yesterday, the co- the commentator said something like the Brewers are 15-3 and three against the Mets at home. And their last, obviously, 18 games, for whatever the reason is, when they play in Milwaukee, the Brewers own the Mets. Now, Scherzer did pitch once against the Brewers last year. Six innings, no runs, no earned, and they won that game 7-2, and that game was in Milwaukee. And that was the last time that the Mets beat the Brewers in Milwaukee, I believe. Now, head-to-head, the home team is 7-3 and in their 10 meetings. The Brewers are on a two-game winning streak against the Mets. The Brewers are six and four against the Mets in their last ten. The favorite is eight and two on the money line. The favorite winning these games by two runs or more and laying a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have only been two one-run games in their last ten, none in their last four. The over is six and four in their last ten, and the over eight is six and four in their last ten. The game that they played yesterday, the Brewers beat the Mets 10-0. The game before that, they beat them 6-0. The two previous games to that, the Mets won 7-5 and 7-2. Both of those games were actually in Milwaukee. And Scherzer pitched one of those games. Carrasco pitched the other one. Now, in their last handful of games overall, the Mets are 3-2. We've had 8 runs, 3 runs, 8 runs, 6 runs, and 10 runs. The Mets have scored 0, 5, 6, one and five in the five games that they've played this year. And the Brewers are uh, three and one to start off this season. We've had four runs, four runs, 14 runs, and 10 runs. They've scored 10, nine, three, and zero. So the last two games, the offense has woken up for the Brewers. This is a catch 22 for me in this game. There is the stat about how badly the Brewers own the Mets, especially in Milwaukee. But if I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down with an ace. So I'm going to take the Mets with the money line. I'm going to take the Mets laying the runs. And I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.